This is Richard Gunther with the Digital Media Zone. We're here at CES 2013. We're at the Silicon Dust booth and we're talking about the HD Home Run and their Project Connect. I'm here with Ted Head, the CEO of Silicon Dust. What can you tell us about the new device that you announced today and how that fits into your new ecosystem? So you're familiar with the existing HD Home Run Prime? I'm so, familiar enough with it that I have one. There you go, great, and I hope it's working well for you. So with the HD Home Run, originally we were just streaming through the home with multiple tuners into all the computers in your home network. With DLNA being added to the devices and being a certified DMS in the DLNA world, we're also streaming fully protected content now throughout your whole connected home. So everything that we've been talking about, about Project Connect that we introduced uh, late last year, and then now going forward with Project Connect, we're able to now start streaming to your entire home, to any screen through all the DLNA protocols, through all your smart devices, your TVs, through your tablets, through your, through your iPhone and your iPad. Um, you can also do it with uh, your Android devices. We're going to be releasing Android apps. So with Project Connect, we introduced the, the, the upcoming beta and the DLNA certification of all of that. In addition to that, the next level of Product Connect is introducing our entire next generation product line that I'll explain as well. But to let you know that all that we're doing with DLNA and with the protected content streaming will be available very, very soon. I believe we're going to do a beta release of that firmware for all existing Prime users that are out there now on the 17th of January. So that'll be coming soon. So stay, stay aware for that and we'll be talking more about that. We're introducing the next generation HD Home Run. So with the next generation, everything that we have from ATSC, our DVB models, and our new cable card devices will all be DLNA. All the protected content from the Prime will continue to stream through DTCP IP throughout the entire home on all these devices. We're also adding hardware transcode to all the devices the next generation. So we're going to be taking that native MPEG-2 streaming and then take it down to H.264 when required. So if the TV is still it's going to be, it's wired and it's going to play 1080i full high definition beautifully on the TV, there's no need for transcode. It won't transcode it. But if you're going to play on your tablet or on your smartphone, it'll know and it'll take that transcode and take that HD down and so you can actually view full HD content on those tablets and other devices. And that transcoding is really important because that really opens the breadth of devices that you're able to support, isn't that right? Exactly. So, you know, now your entire home just isn't around your computers for your digital media. It's everything now. You're, you're connected across the board. So from a, from a TV to a, to a you know, PlayStation 3, uh, to other game consoles, to your media players, all of that, people don't just sit in front of the TV anymore and fr sit in front of a computer. You're mobile throughout your entire home. So we want to make sure you can get that on any screen through any device that's connected on that through DLNA. Excellent. Now you have a tablet here too. Yes. Previously, we've only been able to see the HD Home Run output in a limited way on an iPad app by a third-party vendor. Yes. This is your own though, right? Yes. So we are going to be launching an, uh, an HD Home Run Android app. We will eventually have a, an iOS app as well. So, But the Android app will be released first. It's right now in a beta version that we're just you know showing off a little bit, showing the icon on here, letting you know that it will be coming very, very soon. With that Android app, it will be supporting fully protected content, DTCP IP. So it has protection keys in the software that talk the protection keys in our device and we'll be protecting that and you can be able to watch your HBO if you have that HBO subscription right on your, on your Android device. Okay, and you said soon, are, you, are we looking at the first quarter or two, or do you have specific timing yet? We're looking to get this released out within the first quarter of this year, definitely. So hopefully right, it's very soon after CES, don't have a firm date yet. Okay, and are you talking at all about price point yet? Uh, as far as the, from the app itself? The app itself, no. We're trying to get it as low as possible. We'd like not to charge, but with the protected content support and all of that, there are some things that happen, you know, that, but if we do it, it's going to be a minimal charge. And granted, that's a big improvement over what people have available today on the iPad, so exactly. good stuff. Now, with a television like this over a standard DLNA connection, you don't really have any control over the information that's displayed there, but if you're creating an application, you could potentially mirror the rather stark channel information 
with some metadata about the programming that's on that channel. Is that anything that you're considering doing with your application? Yeah, when we do it, when we talk about a richer experience, we want to give the customer what they've been looking for, what they're getting used to now out there. That rich metadata, those the, the pictures, the snippets, and, and all the, a little more information about the programming. So as part, part of Project Connect, you're going to see phases that are introduced throughout the year. So we had, you know, we had the introduction with the certification process, introducing the next generation products with, with transcoding and all the DLNA services that we offer. Beyond that, Project Connect will continue. We'll be offering a richer UI experience on devices. So where everything that we're doing is where it's a viewing application, where you'll be able to see it, you'll see a, a channel list, you'll choose a channel and you'll play on all these devices. The next step in Project Connect is to be able to add a richer UI experience. Um, and then adding into in DVR functionality and recording functionality, whether it be cloud-based or, or server-based and NAS, you know, NAS devices, all those different concepts. We have several partners that are creating different programs as well. So all of that will continue as the year progresses. Project Connect doesn't end with CES. It doesn't end with March. It continues on and continues to add new features and, and experiences for the customer. So we can better these types of experiences. So from a viewing side, it'll start with a little bit more of that metadata showing up. Then when we get into the DVR side and the full EBG and all of that, then it'll have more and more information and all that, all the, the program info and all that. So working that, we'll get all that coming very, very soon. So we were talking earlier about how you're continuing to produce cable card products and these devices seem like you're really backing this technology that for the most part the industry has largely written off. Now, as home theater geeks, we're happy that that's not the case. And one of the first posts that I even wrote for the Digital Media Zone was how I thought that the HC Home Run Prime was one of cable card's last best hopes to, to remain alive and move forward. And I think it, it has helped with other vendors' products to really keep things going. What is your thought on the future of Cable Card, and uh, do you see it evolving to something, something different than it is now? I do. I mean, Cable Card gives you the access of, of that higher tier and, and all your premium content that, you, that you're paying for from your provider. But you look at different ways of, of getting that throughout your entire home, and by continuing that, that method of, of giving you that protected content and then streaming it over your home network, it's kind of renewed that concept of what a cable card was meant to be before, but didn't always get that, you know, that, that good exposure. So we're hoping to give it more exposure. It's already done that. It's already gotten the, the word out that cable card is, is existing. There are other players out there and other people that are considering doing it as well. So I think cable card may have kind of gone on the wayside because of a lot of technical issues that it that had or that was built around the unit. But now with cable card on a device and it can actually truly stream it throughout your entire home, then you have options now. And options are important for customers. So I think it's going to bring it back and, and renew that concept of what cable card can do and what conditional access and access control can do for viewing all over your entire home. And right now, really, it's, it's the only way that many people have for getting premium content or any digital content in their home since many providers are actually turning off ClearQualm. Correct, and you know there's still that you know that chance that that's going to happen slowly over the next few years. So you know our device right now, being the HD Home Run Prime, it will work with both the you know from ClearQuam all the way through protected content. Content. So any of your cable content that exists in a digital format will work with our device. And is it fair to assume that your new box that's coming out is going to continue to provide driver support for media center users? Oh yes, of course. I mean we right now we it, it, we've already tested it with Windows with Windows 8, and so it works across the board now. So we're not abandoning the computers at all. All of this still works on all your home computer network and it by giving DLNA a, a source in there, that means some of the other applications that may work over DLNA on your PC will work well. And so there's other programs that, that exist on the PC that will only be on the PC that do DLNA and do protected content. We'll support all of those as well. We want to make sure that the user, again, has those options in their home to watch wherever they want to. All right, fantastic. Once again, this is Richard Gunther at CES 2013. I'm here with Ted Head, and we are showing the HD Home Run and its new capabilities through DLNA. Thanks for joining us.